And when you have nails like this, right? A nigga know not to fucking play with you. A nigga know not to give you no fucking $50 for your hands and motherfucking nails. Nigga, you gotta give me $200. What's up, y'all? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about how I do these stiletto poly gel nails at home with a twist. So stay tuned for this in-depth tutorial. I'm starting off with clean buffed nails with no shine so that I am ready to start applying my base. I'll be using these pre-made stiletto forms from Amazon. They'll be linked down below. I'm going to be applying my IBD nail primer. This is to help the poly gel hold to my nails. After applying a thin coat to each nail, I'll then begin to apply my base coat of gel polish from Gershion. This is to help keep the um, poly gel bonded to my nail longer. I'll be using Savvy Land Clear Poly Gel. I have my dampen dish full of 90% isopropyl alcohol, my poly gel spatula and brush, and my stiletto forms. I am going to start to take the stiletto forms out of the bag and size each nail to my nail bed. Hopefully you guys can see them, but I do have 10 nails set out. They're all um, lined up according to my nail bed size. And now I'm just getting ready to grab my poly gel former clamps. These help hold down my poly formers so that there is no air bubble in between my nail bed and the poly gel. Now I'm going to begin the application process by squeezing a small half of a pea-sized amount of poly gel onto the spatula end of my poly gel applicator brush. And I'm gonna apply that pea-sized or half pea-sized poly gel amount into the very base of my poly form of my stiletto nail. I dampened the brush end of the spatula or the poly gel brush and I'm just slowly spreading the poly gel in the nail by patting it down. So sometimes after I press down on the form with the poly gel, a little bit of excess poly gel kind of oozes out onto the side walls of my nail so I just dampen the brush with the alcohol again and just kind of swipe it up quickly. I try to do it as quickly and precise as possible so it doesn't create an air bubble.
After everything has been cured, I take my drill and I begin to drill up any of the remaining poly gel that may be on my cuticles or on the side wall or that kind of overlap onto the form just to make sure that around my cuticles are nice and neat as if I went to the shop. If there's a significant amount of poly gel that overlapped, I just grab my cuticle nipper and nip it off like so. Now that I've finished shaping and perfecting the nails, I am ready to polish. So I'm just kind of glancing over them, making sure they're as sharp as I want it to be, that they're clean and they're neat and there are no imperfections or dust anywhere, and I'm good to go. So I'm gonna grab my gel polish and get started. I decided to go in with one more shape up for a sharper stiletto point and I wasn't really sure what I was going for polish wise so I grabbed a couple I figured I might like and I started with the pink and white and here I'm just cleaning up any of the gel polish on my sidewalls with the brush with a little alcohol on it. Next, I'll be taking some of my foils, which I got on Amazon. Um, all the stuff I'm using will be linked in the description box. I decided to grab a canister of the gold foil and go for, you know, a little freestyle situation. So you will see what I came up with later in the video. A suggestion for trying to separate and apply your foil is to take some sharp tweezers, either with a pointed tip or um, just a flathead tip, and separate or rip up your gold foil that way and apply it to a clear coat of gel polish. That's the way I did it, and it kind of helped me out. I also didn't have any kind of like rhinestone glue or anything like that. So if you got a bootleg like me, I took a freaking brown lip liner pencil, what I be using for my eyebrows, and I was picking up my rhinestones with it. And that's how I was applying them to my nails. 
so that's another <laughs> suggestion if you don't um have all the tools you might need For the remainder of the video, I decided to just kind of freestyle my other hand. So I'm just going to allow you guys to see um, how the particular design came to life. And yeah, I will check in at the end results. A quick tip here, if you're going to use regular polish at all, like I did with that golden glitter polish, I did come back and reinforce a clear coat of the poly gel on top because curing gel polish on top of that nail just wasn't hard enough for my liking. And here is the finished result, guys. I absolutely love these nails. They were my first time doing something like this. So if you're a beginner like I was, you can totally do it. These were so cute, so fun, and they were giving like city girl Cardi B energy and I loved it. So hopefully this tutorial helped you. If it did or you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Thank you and good luck with your set.